Hi everyone, it's Miss Veronica and we're in a new week. And this week I wanna show you some things that you can do at home to work on fine motor and hand-eye coordinating activities. That's so, so important for using those small muscles in the hands. Um, doing puzzles at home, like peg puzzles are a good way to do that. Stacking blocks are a good way to do that. Um, putting things in and out of containers is a good way to do that. So I have some ideas of things that you can use while you're at home with things that you may have at home to make it as simple as possible. I'm sure most of you have a wipes container, something like this. Um, this is really good. You can take cotton balls or pom-poms or you can take rolled up socks, little socks, and you can just have your child practice putting in, put in, put in, it's a good way for you to have that communication with them. And then you can let them take them out as well. If they struggle with that, you can open the container and let them take them out that way and start the process all over again. Another thing I have is a colander and um, it has different size holes, but one thing that's really fun with this and hopefully you have this at home, is some kind of pasta. So I have spaghetti right here, and you can let them practice lining up the pasta on the hole and sticking it in. And then they can do it again. And it might slide, and that's okay, because we really just care that they can get their hands and their eyes to match up and poke it through. If you wanna make it more fun, you can take a wider noodle or a Cheerio or a Fruit Loop of some kind, and then you can let them practice putting that over the pasta noodle. Over the pasta noodle. One thing I like to remind you of is we are equal opportunity hand users. So if you see that they are putting things on with their right hand, then occupy their right hand so that they have to do it with their left hand because we want them to have that balance and make that connection in their brain. Another thing is um, if you have just a container and this is just like a cornmeal, you can use an oatmeal container, really anything that has a lid like this, we put holes into it. You can use pipe cleaners. I happen to have straws. And again, it's about matching up the straw into the hole. And they just go push, push. And then they can practice taking them out. Again, I have some wider noodles here and now that I have my straws pushed in I can see if I can get my noodles on. You can count with them one, two, whatever you want to do with that. Um, you can also use q-tips and you can drop q-tips into the holes. Um, I have a water bottle here. I can put q-tips into the water bottle in in, or if you have cotton balls or pom-poms like I have here, you can put them in. That's one, two, three, and it's always a good idea to let them practice taking it out. So they might have to shake, shake, shake. You might have to model for them, but as long as they're able to put things in and take them out, you have some great fine motor activities. Have fun, bye.